G'day. My name's George, and I'm here to read to you from this year book. Oh. So, I thought I'd read some of my favourite bits, and I'm going to start with spiders. Fun spider facts. There are over 34,000 species of spider in the world, and about 10,000 of them are in Australia. We know from fossils that spiders first evolved more than 350 million years ago. Most spiders have eight eyes, but there are some that have only two, and some that have six. Spider invasion. May 2015. Spiders rained down over Goulburn in the early morning, covering the area with masses of webbing. Residents woke to a baby spider invasion. This phenomenon was also called angel hair. It's rare and requires special weather conditions. It only happens in May or August during the spider hatching season. Baby spiders float through the air on silk threads, this is called ballooning, carried by the wind, sometimes for hundreds of kilometres, coming to land over fields and farms. I'm never going to Goulburn. All right, so from spiders, we're going to move to nuclear weapons. For many years, Australia allowed the United Kingdom to test its nuclear weapons on Australian shores. It began on the 3rd of October 1952 when a nuclear device was exploded on the Montebello Islands off the coast of Western Australia. The first mainland test occurred on the 15th of October 1953 at Emu Field in the Great Victoria Desert, South Australia. A second device was exploded two weeks later. A further seven tests occurred at Maralinga between 1956 and 1963. So I thought I'd finish up with some mythical animals. Mythical, that means they ain't real. You'd think that there were enough animals in Australia that could kill you and that you wouldn't need to make any up. But that'd be boring. So, here are some mythical animals that could kill you. Well, you know, if they were real. Name, Drop Bear. <coughs> Origins, invented as a joke to scare tourists. Other stuff you need to know. Drop Bears are giant carnivorous koalas with sharp teeth Razor-like claws and mean tempers. They live in trees and hunt by dropping onto their victims' heads. Stunned by the impact, victims are usually helpless as they are bitten, clawed and devoured. Drop bears hunt at night and pretty much attack anything that moves, including humans. Dabbing Vegemite behind the ears or on the back of the neck is said to ward off drop bears. The best protection, however, is to walk around holding a sharp implement, such as a screwdriver or a fork, above the head so that attacking drop bears are impaled before they can cause any harm. <laughs> ah, ah, ah!